we're going to show you a battery isolation mod. So this here is a battery terminal isolator. Now this here is basically a switchable version of pulling your negative side off the battery. Pull it off. That's right. Battery loves it, but it actually doesn't love it because when you're getting your tool on here and you're smashing it round and round and round again, putting it on, putting it off, after a while this can get a bit grot. You can just take that cable on and off. You've got to keep a tool in your car. This here is just a super clean, switchable way of doing it. And it's just so easy, so easy, that you can do it with your eyes closed and your pants off or on. And Martin is going to show you what tools you're going to need. So these are the tools that you're going to need. The first step is to jack up your car. Once you've done that, you want to open your boot, trunk, hood or bonnet and locate the battery. Once you've done that, you want to find the negative terminal. That's the one that's not red. Then grab a spanner and remove the clamp from off the battery. So the way this little thing works, it's technically called a battery terminal isolator. It is just a power isolator. It is just disconnecting the terminal. Now you've got to use it on the negative terminal uh, because most cars are negative earthed. Um, old school ones like from the, earlier than the 50s were positive. Don't put it on the positive side. Not a good idea. The way this works is you just unscrew it and it basically releases contact between one side and the other side. When you screw it down and this actual sort of dial here and the copper or brass that's underneath it hits it, it now completes the circuit. So that is basically how you do it. It's threaded in that side. You just put that side on the terminal and put your original negative strap on this side. You can mount it any which way that you desire which is what we're going to do. Insert the isolator into the factory clamp, choose the right angle, then tighten it up. Once that's done, reinstall it onto the battery. So that is it. That's like the simplest mod ever and also super handy if you're parking your car up for a while and you don't have a trickle charger. And there it is. That's easy. I didn't even know that product existed until like we started investigating this. And to check that it works, we do some horn. And then if I turn off the tap, Turn the tap on again. It probably is worth a consideration that if you are turning this off, it means your alarm and immobiliser and tracking and any other stuff like that you're running uh, is not going to be working anymore unless it's got its own power source. Uh, but we put it on here to show you, but it probably won't end up living on there forever. And I think that's it, Martin, isn't it? That is. That's like the easiest, simplest, one tool thing ever. It's great. There it is. 